what goes on guys we're back here again with yet another review and today we're reviewing the chad himself guts from berserk now this is the berserker armor so if you watched the anime um like the 90s one you probably have no idea what this is other than that little intro at the beginning where they tease you with it they give you a glistening of it but um, I just started reading the manga after the, um, events of that, what happened in the show, so I, I recently got into this, um, I will not spoil anything, I will definitely stay away from spoilers, because Berserk is amazing, so please go watch it, I love that glossy emblem that he, you know, gets, again, I'm, I don't want to say spoilers, but it, it is so cool, um, that they, ooh, they even put it right there, that's nice, but yeah, you can see his big 400 pound sword, yeah, the sword's 400 pounds. Guts is just like that. So, I'm very excited. Guts has become one of my favorite characters, not only in anime, but in general, in all of fiction. I love Guts. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open. I just want to show here as well, there are instructions on the inside flap of the box. So, if you need help with something, feel free to refer to those. Alright, I don't want to get copywritten, but... God damn. Ah, guts. Guts, guts, guts. This figure's pretty damn awesome. There are definitely some issues in which I will talk about, but I'm also going to be kind of biased because I love Guts, and I really wanted this figure, and I'm very happy to have it, but as you can just kind of see from just that, there are some things to talk about, but damn, overall, I'm pretty happy with this guy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the detail of Gotze. Starting off with this head sculpt here. I love it. I love the closed eye. The painted eye looks great. The little white tuft there looks awesome. I think personally, I would have preferred the look in the anime a little bit more before he gets the Berserker armor. I wouldn't be surprised if we get that later down the road. I don't know, maybe when I get further into the manga, I'll want to keep this one. I wouldn't mind trading it off, like selling this one and buying that one, just because that's the guts that I know and love, the more simple armor. But this is just also really, really cool. I would also love Griffith. So if anybody's looking to get rid of a Griffith, you can just send it to me. I don't, you know, I don't, I, I'm a broke college student. Um, I would really appreciate it, but no, I'm just kidding. But I do plan on getting Griffith eventually, um, but not anytime soon. But he looks great. I love the tufts of silver that are on the dry, like the dry brush of the armor. It looks great. I mean, he's got very angular armor. This piece in the middle kept popping off, so I personally want it there. So I just glued it on. Um, and then I love all the silver that's punched in. I wish that these were painted silver, but then again, you don't really know in the manga because it's all black and white if they're supposed to be silver. But I like the buckles painted in. The tops of the knives are good. Um, now, this stuff definitely could have been painted. All these little silver buckles and pieces back here. I mean, this isn't a $100 figure. And then, oh, I just realized. Look at the back of his neck. Let's see if I can get a good angle on that. Oh, yeah. That is very well done at the end when they're all like, oh, psh, psh, psh. my man Pippin got it on his arm. Um, Quirkus got it on his head, right? I forget. Oh, um... Judo got it on his hand, and then Casca got it on her chest. Very awesome. I wouldn't mind getting the whole squad. Just saying. Um, especially Pippin. I love Pippin. Pippin's awesome. Um, so get the main squad from them. But we are getting Nosferatu Zod, which is pretty freaking awesome. I really hope that that gets made. And I'm going to be honest, I don't know who the fairy girl was yet, or the wizard, or whatever it was. So I didn't get there yet, but we'll, we'll see. There's a lot to read. I do like all the muscular texture on there you get to see all the cuts and scars he's got his wraps there um and then of course he does have to spoilers as i'm gonna get into spoilers he does have to cut his own arm off and kind of tear it out of the mouth of a demon um at the end of the show so you can see that here i love the way that that is designed that is super cool this actually uh rotates a little bit this little thing on the elbow um so you get his metallic metal arm which in the anime you do not get to see so read the book um I love the long, like, layered armor, I guess. Like, scalature-like armor. It looks great. You get a nice head sculpt here. I do like this 
uh, like mouth guard piece. His helmet does come over that, but this doesn't come with that. I do believe they are releasing that. Um, you get the knee pads. It just looks great. It cuts a nice silhouette. I think it's a little thin in the waist. Um, like Guts is more of a bulky guy in my opinion. He's also very tall, and this kind of feels a little small, but that's also SH Figure Arts aesthetic, so could just be me. You know, not really the line spot, I guess. But yeah, I think it looks really, really well done. Now, in terms of accessories for Guts, of course, we are gonna get a bunch of stuff. I mean, in you know, SH Figure Arts fashion, we are gonna get a fist hand for the right side as well as an open relaxed hand for the left or the right side um and then you get a bunch of different parts for his cannon arm so as you can see here this this hand's loose this here pops off and then you can replace it with either the cannon arm so you can kind of pop that on there and then that will rotate around so you can kind of configure it the way that you want it to be configured, which is super cool. I like that a lot. I wish we had an effect part for it, but unfortunately, we do not. Um, and then you get the crossbow extension arm, which is also equally as cool. Because there's a lot of moving parts on this. It hinges here so he can aim it. And then this little piece like locks into his hand, I guess. Uh, I guess it doesn't make sense to do that. But that's pretty cool. And then you also get this piece, which... Not really sure what this does, to be honest. Did I just break that? I, better not have. I don't really know what this piece is for. Um, yeah, it's not on the side of the box, neither. So, I don't know. If you know what this is, let me know. Um, I think it's a different piece for the crossbow. But I don't exactly know how to get it out. And honestly, I don't want to break it. So... Looks good enough to me. I really do like the crossbow arm. I think that that's a super fun detail that they uh, incorporated with this guy. He does come with two different face plates as well. So you do get, you know, relaxed guts. I can go ahead and pop that face off there. All right, we'll go with this one first. You get the snarling head. Like, he's a little, oops, he's a little wee bit angy. Let's see if I can get this on there. What the hell? There we go. Oh, man, that looks good. Oh, he's a little angry. Very cool. Very good expression. Very well done. And then finally, probably the best one, objectively speaking. I like relaxed guts, personally. You get the berserker screaming head. That is so awesome. Love it. Love it. So you can get them all like... Rah! And then, of course... You get, oh, you do get the egg. I guess he gets his own at some point because this is not Griffith's. Um, the king, the the egg of the king. Ooh, it's so nasty looking. Very, very small, so be careful with them, but very cool. Um, and then you do get the sword, his 400-pound sword. It does come undone at the bottom here to help you get it in the hand. And then getting it in the hand is relatively easy. Just kind of work it up there. Um, the joint on the hand is a little loose, but if you get it at, like, the right angle, he will hold it relatively well, um, which is pretty awesome because, you know, this is a big sword, but, like, see, like, sometimes it does fall under its own weight. You really got to get good with your posing here. So if you want it held like that, you just got to make sure to pose it. I saw somebody say that it's really loose. Um, I've actually found that the legs are looser than the arm, so... That poses a little bit of a problem, no pun intended, but um, it, it is workable. You just, it's a lot of balancing, but the sword itself looks, whoops, oh man, this hand does not stay on for me, and it's pissing me off. That's the, that's my biggest complaint with this figure. It is very finicky. Parts and pieces pop off a lot and very easily. Certain parts are loose, and it's like the parts that I wish were looser are not, and then the parts that I wish were tighter are looser. Like, the ankle's so loose so loose which is not good for a character who needs to hold something very tall i know how i'm gonna pose them on the shelf so it shouldn't affect me that bad but it, it is quite frustrating um but then the hips are super tight which is good it needs to be but this hand does not stay on for me and it it infuriates me to be honest with you because you know this is not a cheap figure and something like that is essential to this character so it's just very frustrating but um 
The sword itself looks very good. I like the texture in the middle. It's painted very nicely. You get the little chain on there. Is it like an actual chain? I can't tell. Is that like a little? It is. There's a little chain on there. Very cool. But looks good. Um, I don't think you can hang this on his back. But to be fair, I don't know if he does with this one. I know his first sword he does. Um, and he had like, sometimes I thought he had a tail because of like the one strap. Like kind of just like hung there. But yeah. The accessories are very nice. I just wish that the figure was a little tighter, which does lead me to articulation. So taking a look at Guts's articulation, I don't like this gap here in the head neither. That is frustrating, like that little bit of skin, but whatever. The head looks up that much. He will look down all the way. You do get really good pivot, and it'll rotate. So that armor neck thing does not get in the way at all. The shoulders will go up past horizontal. You just got to make sure that this is not tucked in here. So if it's tucked in, it's going to get stuck. So raise it up. And you can kind of finagle it, but you can definitely get past horizontal. That's fine. And it does, like, shift back and forth. I guess there's a little bit of a butterfly in there. Very nicely done. Um, it'll rotate around 360. It's just like a double ball peg in there. Which, it's very gappy, but then again, the armor does kind of hide it. So you just got to kind of pose around or play around with it. Bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows that are actually pretty ugly. And they don't have, like, the best range, which is really weird. Um, and they're not... They're not loose, which is good. That's what I care about. And then the ball hinge wrists on there. Sorry for that cutaway right there. In the torso, you got to be careful with these pieces. They are, they feel a little fragile. So he's only going to go forward about that much. Back a little bit more. Pivot side to side and then lots of rotation. So I think it's good enough. Um, but like I said, I would be careful. This is brittle. Um, hips are going to go outwards. You got to get the little armor piece under the thigh part if you can. It's it's not going to be great. I mean, that's... Actually, I'll take it back. I don't know how much more you need guts to do, but it's pretty good. He'll kick forward to about there. Back. Upper thigh cut in there. Or like a swivel. Double jointed knees that will go a hell of a lot better than the ankles. And then the ankle goes... Or the ankle. The elbows. Then the ankle goes down, up, shall rotate. You get a little bit of a pivot and a toe joint. That's very well done. So I wish the ankles were a little bit tighter. But then again, I mean, you know, whatever. And he also does come with this cape. I forgot to mention. Um, I love the manga art style that they did for this. It is kind of weird that you can see, like, where the line of the bendy wire is. But it, it really doesn't personally bother me. So it's... Ooh! It's a very poseable cape. It really fits the body nicely. Um, I'm not taking it off. It's staying on there. Oops, I gotta put this knife on there. I might glue the knife on too. I hate when stuff falls off of figures all the time. That is a huge action figure pet peeve of mine. Um, yeah, that looks pretty badass. A shitty pose, but looks pretty awesome. So I would say the articulation is pretty good. He is just a little finicky. And there are brittle parts on him, so by all means, please be careful. Oh, before I forget as well, I also figured out what that other piece was for. Um, that little hook piece that looks like it was for his arm. That's to store the uh, collapsed, like when he's not using his um, cannon arm. So that goes, that plugs in there. I believe it plugs this way. Yeah, that plugs in there. So, if you want that collapsed look, there you go. That's probably where I'll keep it, but looks pretty damn good. And the bendy wire is pretty good as well, so I do really like that. Here he is next to the NECA Toys King Kong, along with the Hasbro, or Hasbro, Jazzers Fortnite Series 6-inch Peely. Um, like I said, I think Guts is a little short. In my eyes, in my head, he's a pretty tall fella. Uh, I think he's like six-something, so I wish he was a little bit taller, but I think that's a Bandai thing. Here is next to the McFarlane Toys Dark Knight Returns Batman, along with the Hasbro Marvel Legends X-Men series Darwin. And then finally, of course, here he is next to the Hasbro Marvel Legends What If series zombie Captain America. So you guys are probably out there wondering, yo, Ant, what are your final thoughts on this figure? And I gotta say, some parts are kind of frustrating. I really don't like that my gripping hand for the skin hand is, like his right arm is very hard to get on and doesn't stay on great um the ankles are super loose on mine but and i feel like the torso is a little over engineered but other than that i mean he is awesome the big sword and the fact that i can get him into a pose like this is great he does look fantastic 
fantastic. I really like the way that they did the cape. I saw some people complaining about it. I like it. I think that it works very nice. I like all the tatteredness of it. Um, and overall, it just really is a nice display piece, especially for a character that I haven't wanted my whole life. But once I watched Berserk and started reading it, I was like, oh my god. I think I love him. And I do. So Guts is going on my main display shelf. I know how I'm going to pose him because he's a freaking shad. So with all that being said, at a price point of around $100, Dara, I'm going to go ahead and give this guy... To be unbiased, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Because he is a little frustrating. But personally speaking couldn't be much happier so with all that being said i believe that's all i got for today if you have not already please be sure to like comment subscribe also be sure to follow me on on tiktok instagram and letterbox i post a lot over there on all those apps and i have a lot of fun so i'm sure you all will too but as always let me know you copping see you guys in the next one peace Walk as long as I wanted to hop on here again and thank you all for watching and to let you know that if the following apps interest you, feel free to follow me on them as I put the links in the description for you guys. I really appreciate everything you all do for me, so DM me with any questions or thoughts. I'd love to sit and talk with you all. Again, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.